Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I just received a special package from The Art of Pinball. It is their Ruins mod set for the Indiana Jones pinball machine. So today we're gonna go through and do the complete installation and check out all the cool stuff that comes with the kit. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell and like this video because every little bit that you guys do watching the videos and liking helps grow the channel. So with that out of the way, let's check out what comes in the kit. One really cool thing you get when you order from the Art of Pinball is this cool certificate that guarantees this is a authentic design from the Art of Pinball. It's also hand signed and numbered and date it was manufactured. Very cool. If you're interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, check out littleshopofgames.com and they are the exclusive dealer for the art of pinball. And over here is the rails for the Path of Adventure and you've got these rock coverings that cover up the uh, bumper in the middle of the Path of Adventure. The idle, two slingshots, two lane dividers that go right uh, in front of the flippers, and then a outlane cover. So on the ruin set here, you're gonna get a little hardware packet that has three screws and a standoff. More about that later. We also, you'll have your tunnel. Um, it's the left exit of the Path of Adventure. The detail on the mods from Art of Pinball are amazing. These are all hand sculpted, hand painted Every little nuance is captured on here. It looks amazing. Also on the inside, there's a little stamp to show that uh, this is an authentic piece and they're hand signed by Lior, the owner of Art of Pinball. Everything is packed really nicely in styrofoam pieces. Slingshots are a new addition to the kit. And again, everything is hand painted. Each little piece is hand painted. And these are for the lane guides right before the flippers, again, amazing detail. So everything that the Art of Pinball comes out with, the detail is just unbelievable. And the idle is amazing as well. And this is the rails for the mini play field. Here is the new tunnel section. That's to the left of the mini play field. Again, details are just unbelievable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to remove this quarter inch screw from the exit of the Path of Adventure. And there is another screw right here and another screw in between right here uh, that we're going to remove. So this one comes off first, then we'll get down here and get this one, and then we'll get this one right here. Then we'll move on to the next step. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to get this out of here after you've re removed these screws, because uh, the wire form goes into this ramp that's connected, we're gonna to wanna to come down here and unscrew this screw right here. We're gonna to need to take these off anyways because we're gonna be putting on the new slingshots. But uh, first off, let's go ahead and remove this screw and then this will come away and then we can get access underneath to pull the mini play field out. So our next step is there's going to be two screws right underneath this ramp right there that holds the bottom of the Path of Adventure play field. So we're going to remove those two screws and then the last thing we'll do is at the very back there's an Allen screw that holds the back of the mini play field to the motor. Now you'll see that this is loose. So we're going to pull right here at the very back, there is an Allen screw. Right there in the center, that is the Allen screw. We just need to loosen it. We don't need to take it completely out. And then we can slide the mini play field. Now your play field is free. Now, you don't need to dis disconnect the wires. We just need to get access to the bottom because there are several screws that we need to pull out under here 
I believe there's four. We'll start removing these screws. And this takes a quarter inch screw. Okay, that is free. We'll set the screws off to the side because we'll be reusing the screws. Okay, let's remove the other screws. So we're gonna start with the side that's closest to the middle of the play field. We'll line it up. That looks great and I'm gonna go ahead and install the screws. When you're installing this new mod kit, don't over tighten the screws, just get them nice and snug. If you over tighten them, you might run the risk of cracking your new pieces. But once you've got them kind of finger tight, you can go ahead and start screwing them in. Okay, all these screws are snug, not overly tight. A little paper towel in between just to make sure I don't scratch the back side of this. Now we're gonna start lining up our other screws. And everything is pre-drilled, so the screws will find their way into where they're supposed to be. Now we can flip it over and admire how awesome it is. Slide it back onto the motor shaft on the back. Pull that away. And that part is done. Now all we need to do is just reattach the two screws for the bracket here, the Allen key back here, and then our ramp screws that go on this side. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna install these little toppers on these lane dividers right here. They just go on with double-sided tape, super simple, and it really gives a nice look to the game. So we just pull the double-sided tape off and uh, we're ready to go. Just stick it on there. Just like that. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be installing the ramp that goes along the side here. Uh, we're gonna wanna remove this screw and this screw. We're gonna reuse this screw to mount the top of the ramp. We need to go ahead and reinstall the gold wire form that was here because the bottom of the ramp does cover up part of the wire form will make it very difficult to get it reinstalled. So let's do that real quick. It's gonna fit about something like that. There is a screw hole at the top of this ramp. We'll use the, we'll reuse one of the screws from the plastic uh, cover piece that was here and we'll reinstall it here and the bottom of this just kind of rests in place. So when you're installing your ramp here you want to make sure that it's in between this wire form right here and squared up and it just drops into place and up here it's held in by the one screw. Now if you need to make adjustments as if it's touching your middle mini play field when you're moving it when you're doing a test. You have right here on the Path of Adventure bridge, you have these two screws right here. You can loosen them up and then slide this whole bracket this way or that way, uh, depending on what kind of adjustments you need. So I'm gonna start with it in the stock position on how I had it on my game. And if it rubs, then I'll just loosen these two screws and just scoot it over or bring it closer to that side if necessary. Our next step is to work on the ruins on this side and also replacing the idle. So we're gonna unplug the flasher 
And that's all we're gonna need from the underside of the play field. And we're gonna feed it through the hole right here. We're gonna remove the ruins existing plastic. We've already disconnected the flasher from the underside of the play field. So it's just three screws and we're not gonna reuse these screws either. So there's new screws that are supplied in the kit. We're gonna remove the idle now. Now underneath this door, there is an Allen head screw right there. So this could be a little tricky, but uh, I'm gonna hold the door down and get the Allen head screw loose so this can come straight up. Okay, that's loose. Now would be a good time to go ahead and clean the inside of this, it gets a little dirty. So we're gonna give this a good clean and then we'll reattach the new and improved idle. When you remove the idle out, be careful to, to not touch the gold. I, I've been told that uh, fingerprints can eventually maybe damage the finish, but that might be on an early version. I'd have to double check. But anyways, I'm just gonna handle it from the lower area. So with the idle off, there's three screws. We're gonna unscrew these three, three screws and then we're gonna attach it to the base of this new one. Now, very important note, the Allen head screw that's here has to face the face of the idol, just like this. So the Allen head's facing forward in line with the face. So let's go ahead and swap those screws. So we're gonna drop this down and we'll tighten the Allen head screw underneath and this will be done. Now, there is some adjustments vertically if you need it. I'm gonna try with it all the way down and see how that looks. Just like this where it's just resting on the base. So we'll just tighten up that screw again. Okay, we are done with that. So our next step is we're gonna install the ruins. Now these, this is the old one, so we need to remove these two screws that hold the flasher housing on, and we're gonna transfer it over to the new ruins, and there's already two pre-drilled holes. So we're gonna mount the new flasher in there, route it through the hole here, and then we can start installing this. So let's go ahead and swap over the flasher to the new ruins. So we're gonna flip our new ruins over. And we're gonna go ahead and mount the flasher back in Before we install the new ruins, this post needs to be removed and we're going to change it out with the one that comes in the kit. So this guy is going to go there, it's a little bit shorter and we need to use the screws that are provided in the kit. Now we're gonna go ahead and feed our wires through the hole through the play field. And we're going to rest it on here for now. Now, when we put the new screws in, there is a very specific order that these need to go in. So the first screw is gonna go here on the bottom left. And you wanna go ahead and tighten it down but just snug, not super tight, because we might need to shift some things around. And also one thing to note is make sure that these ruins are on the outside of this metal ramp. We don't want them sitting on top or, you know, 
on the inside. We want them on the outside of the ramp. So we'll go ahead and start tightening this screw down. All right, that's snug. So next one is right here at the stairs. And there's a little bit of an adjustment slot here. So if, if you need to move the screw around, you've got a little bit of wiggle room to work with. So again, just snug. And then the last one is gonna be back here in the back. And this is where I might need to just kind of scooch things around and make it fit. So once all three screws are started, go ahead and start snugging them down, starting at the front, then working over to the stair side. And now we're gonna go and get the very back screw. Okay, so we are done here. So what we'll need to do is lift up the play field and go ahead and reattach our flasher and we are done with this and we just have a little bit left to go. So you'll just need to reattach your flasher and we are done with the bottom side of the play field. So next up, we're gonna turn our attention to the play field right here in the front. We're gonna install our slingshots and these uh, inlaying outlaying covers. So we'll start with the covers are super easy. They have double-sided tape. We just peel them off and stick it on. So let's go ahead and start with that. So there's three little um, indentions for the screws. So you just have to make sure you have those centered and then the adhesive will hold it down from there. So we also have this cool cover right here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that on. And the last thing is the slingshots. So we'll start with this one here. So when you're installing the slingshots, if your posts are a little tight when you put this on, you might have to loosen the post just a little bit to make it uh, go on correctly. But it's a nice fit and it looks really nice. So we'll do the last one and we are done. Now, if you've noticed, I do have plastic protectors underneath here. And unfortunately I will not be able to use them because these posts are not long enough. That's the only bummer. We've got this installed, looks amazing. And we're gonna go ahead and start putting our ramp back together and we are done. And remember, just snug. You don't have to get it super tight. Okay, this is done. So let's fire this thing up and see what it looks like with all the lights on.
Guys, this looks amazing. I am just blown away by the quality on this kit. I mean, everything from the Art of Pinball I've ever received has been stellar anyways, but this is next level. Elevates the game 100%. So if you wanna get your own kit, I believe they're making a limited edition run of 100 sets. And you can go over to the littleshopofgames.com to order your own set. So until then, keep flipping.